Hey everybody, I'm Mike DeSepoli and welcome to the Heritage Market Minute for Tuesday, July 6, 2021. We hope you had a great 4th of July and markets obviously closed yesterday in observance of the holiday. So we have a shortened trading week on our hands, so let's take a look at some of the things we're going to be watching for this week. Big news out this morning was a little bit of a decline we saw in the service sector reading, uh, which is a monthly gauge that measures activity in the service side of the economy. Now, a lot of economists that were polled were expecting a pullback because we saw such a high demand for services in the previous months that it was natural to see some reversion back to the mean. But nonetheless, a little bit of concern for the market there, particularly service side of the market, more of the cyclical reopening stocks taking a little bit of a breather here today. The market now in the third quarter, we're looking for certain market themes to be forming. We like to see the action that has been taking place in the growth sectors over the last couple months. It looks to us like part of that market is building itself for a breakout to higher prices. Uh, we are seeing oil prices surge today to the highest level in six years after OPEC, which is the committee that really sets production and capacity limits on oil worldwide. Uh, their talks were postponed indefinitely, um, so a real a breakdown there in negotiations, which means these companies will continue um, to produce oil at the rate that they have been. So there's not going to be any change for the foreseeable future. Um, we're also seeing some news in the IPO market. Uh, there was an IPO last week, a Chinese company that came public, and after just two short days on the market, the Chinese government has intervened and ordered this, this app uh, in particular to be removed from app stores as they do a full audit of cybersecurity and protections therein. So it's just a cautionary tale about IPOs in general. A lot of IPOs get a lot of hype before they come onto the market, and not all of them are guaranteed uh, by any means to be good investment. So we're watching this week just to see how the markets behave now that we're into the third quarter. It is a holiday shortened week, uh, but we're starting to see volumes pick back up as the holiday gets beyond us. So if you have any questions, we encourage you to reach out to us. We hope you guys have a great day, and we'll see you back on Friday for the Heritage Market Pulse. Take care.